sounds like this. Okay, we're working with this today. Okay, so I'm going to break this bass down into three layers, the sub, the mid, and the other stuff, which I don't have a name for yet, but let's just, let's just work on the sub first. Um, first things first, sine wave, and turn off oscillator too, that would definitely help. Octave down, nice. And you can hear that when we're pressing too many notes, it's kind of muddy and chopping and changing. Easily fix this with the glide and legato. When you're in this tab here, you can go to voices and click monophonic. So it'll only do one note at a time and it'll glide between the two. Which you can probably turn that glide up. The more glide, the longer it takes to slide between the two notes. 10 out of 10 would recommend headphones. If you hadn't guessed it already, we're working with bass. And that kind of releases it just a bit to stop start. So we're gonna go into amp one and drag that release out of it. Perfect. Amp, oh no, not amp. Attack, uh, just a little bit. Of, don't really need a punchy so, cause we're gonna side chain it later on, which actually no like, not later on, we're gonna side chain it now. Compressor, down arrow, side chain, audio input from kick, ratio a bit high, attack, quick, release, something like this. I have done a side chain tutorial before, <coughs> link in the description, so I'm gonna run, I ran through that quite quickly, sorry. Okay, let's just probably write some MIDI in, I'm gonna do that now. Okay, we have way too much glide on that. And too much release, what did I do that for? Cool, that is the sub done. We're gonna go ahead and rename that sub, sub, low case B, why not? Okay, so that's the sub. We're gonna move on to part two, which is like the low bass, which is the primary bass. I just want the sub in to kind of add the extra low end and this later extra feature on at the end to kind of provide that upper end. This is the low mids, kind of what we're focusing on in this tutorial. Command D, duplicate that channel and call that bass. I'm gonna change the oscillator from sine to saw. Yeah, that is saw, just in case I screwed that up. Add another oscillator, same saw. Detune. Detune's the key here, and unison. Unison, and more detune. Frequency down on the low pass. So with that in the sub, it sounds like this. No, nope, it can't go down another octave. Oh no. <laughs> Gonna ease up on that detune a little bit. Saturator, make sure side chain is at the end of the plugin processing chain and increase that drive. And the bass. Turn soft clip on, reverb. Okay, now this is essential. Stereo has to be, has to be, stereo has to be at 120, which is wide. Zero is directly mono, a hundred is normal. Uh, I just realized oh, this is my default reverb, um, which is honestly Hall Ballad Reverb. I think, oh no, there's a few things change. Um, we'll go stereo 120, sorry. Dry wet, ease that down, we'll play with that later. No, that sounds dodgy. Repeat, dry wet, we'll ease that down. Uh, we'll get to it later, that still sounds dodgy, whatever. Quality high. Low cut, high cut, uh, I'm just gonna drag that down. Actually, no, we don't, we don't.
pre-delay down. And auto filter. Nice, we're getting there. Let's load up an EQ8 and change it to MS midside. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Maybe boost this. Oh, that's wide. Chorus? Dry wet down with that chorus. Uh, I'm just going to check mono uh, width zero. Still sounds fine to me. It's not phasey or anything, which is good. Okay, when I said I was going to do a third part of this uh, bass, um, I just did it then. It sounded like complete shit. So it's, it's still a work in progress, but I'm happy with what we have so far. I'm going to further process this just a little bit. Work on that sub. That's solid. I might chuck a saturator on there. Bring some more harmonics in. Cool. Limit that. Crank it, crank it, crank it, crank it, crank it. Too much, too much. Oh, okay. OTT, where you at? Where you at? OTG, OTT just killed my vibe. The D tune actually sounds way better. Oh, actually, no, I got one more trick, one more trick, one more trick. Drag a piano in, copy the side chain over, copy the MIDI over. MIDI notes down. Yes. Reverb up. Actually, no, I'll add a new reverb for that. Even though it probably is going to cost me more CPU, but YOLO. Let's check mono compatibility on the master with zero. All good, but the, the piano sounds a little bit hollow, so... One more tray. I'm so going off topic with this tutorial, it's fucking ridiculous, but YOLO. Yes. Okay, and... That's how you make your low Reese kind of, uh, how did I describe it at the start? Low, mids, deep, bass, wide, yup. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with where that's at. So make a sub, make sure it's monophonic, sine waves, um, gliding, legato. Um, second part, create a bass uh, doing the same MIDI notes. 
saw waves, detuned, uh, low octaves, octave down and analog, saturator, crank it, just a little bit of drive on it to kind of get that saturation happening. A small touch of chorus, just kind of bring in that wideness a little bit. Reverb with emphasis on the stereo being 120, so it's wide reverb. Dry wet um, between like 30 and 60. I'm not really noticing any difference, crazy difference anyway. Probably because the piano is underneath it and it's kind of bringing in that wide as well OTT and then cranked that's one of like the rare occasions I just leave OTT as it is and not play with like the dry wet or uh, like the thresholds or anything low pass filter after that a little bit of resonance up to you EQ8 just to kind of boost that wideness even more and then of course side chain last layer is piano with reverb wide reverb might I add um, and then the side chain doing low octave notes and yes it sounds it sounds like this If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. Start playing around with those bases. Seek. Thanks for watching, as always, and see.